Hello everybody, my name is Ian C. Jordan and I want to thank you again for watching another one of my videos, for going to my Google Plus page, for going to my Facebook page. I really appreciate it and I thank you very, very, very much. Okay, I'm going to get right to it. Today's topic is about the Jehovah Witnesses and their origins. I have families that are Je I have family members that are Jehovah's Witnesses who I love dearly as far as in regard to the religion. I think that they are extremely misguided and I'm going to go into detail and explain why. So, I am in a debate with a family member who basically had some very 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 negative things to say about my uh, parish director my priest uh, my wife very disrespectful um, he said his six-year-old knew more about religion than my priest because simply she was a Jehovah's Witness and the rest of us were inferior because the witnesses exercise and live in the truth so, his six-year-old knows more than my parish director, even though my parish director has a master's in theology. He said that didn't matter because it doesn't really matter what they say. It's how he interprets the Bible. And we went and got into a conversation about heaven and hell and how you and I know that they refer to hell in the Bible a multitude of times. And he said, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. And when I had my information in, in front of me and I was ready to debate with him on the subject and the subject matter, rather, he said, well, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not literal. That's the, the Bible doesn't mean it literally. But he backtracked because five minutes before that, he said that there was no hell at all and heaven didn't exist. And it doesn't refer to it in the Bible. So. We're going to start off by going into far as the, the beginning and, and then the end. The beginning is the founder of the Christian faith, Christianity, is Christ. The founder of the Jehovah's Witnesses is a man by the name of Charles Tate Russell, who's rumored to be a Freemason, who on all of his early Watchtower publications had the Knights of Templar symbol right there at the top. And where he lies, his gravestone has the pyramid with the eye going through it. And that is a known Freemason symbol. No issues with the Freemasons. My point is, you say that you're Christians. How are you a Christian when your Bible came out 1,500 years after mine and your argument constantly is, well, you know what? Our Bible is the original text, but it came out 1,500 years after. That's like my great, great, great grandchild saying they're the original E.N.C. Jordan. Asinine. But again, you have to watch these people and these kinds of things. So starting with the New World Mistranslation, if they would change what Christ talks about in the Bible, church and fellowship, if they change the way you go to church, not acknowledging Christ died on a cross, why wouldn't they change the Holy Bible that was put here as a template for you and me to succeed in our life? So, so many people in that religion that left constantly talk about freedom. And things along those lines and how they feel free now that they are with Christianity or back in Christianity, as a lot of people say. These Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that Christ died on the cross. They don't believe in heaven. They don't believe in hell. And when you point these things out, the lunacy begins. So I'm going to get right to it. And I'm going to go into the inconsistencies with the New World Mistranslation and far as Christianity and my Bible. Revelation 21.8. And this is all the references to hell. Revelation 21.8, talking about the fiery lake of burning sulfur. Matthew 25.46. Then they go away to punishment. Righteous people in eternal life. Matthew 13.50. Throw them into the fiery furnace. It gets better. Mark 9, 43, listen to this. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter the life, enter life maimed 
than with two hands to go into hell where the fire never goes out. My silence speaks volumes. Matthew 5, 17 through 20, this talks about heaven. Matthew 7, 13 through 15, it talks about heaven. In Revelation 22, 18, it states, and this goes back to my prior point, anyone that changes anything in this book will add to the person the plagues described in this book. That goes for whoever manipulates the Bible. So it's safe to say that Charles Tate Russell our dear friend is probably roasting in hell's pressure cooker. If Jesus was executed, and we're going to go into really, I'm in closing, I'm just going to break all this down. If Jesus was executed at the stake with both of his hands tied above his head instead of on a cross, with both hands outstretched, why does Matthew 27 37 say the sign that Jesus had above his head is Jesus is the king of the Jews that was posted above his head instead of being posted above his hands. How could it be posted above his head if his arms were stretched out over his head? There's no way for a sign to be read, which totally debunks the notion that Christ didn't die on the cross. And this goes into the deity and this goes into the Trinity, the Holy Spirit in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. What so many people believe and they and they quote from the Bible. This is not in their Bible. Matthew 28, 19, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. This guy specifically told me that that wasn't in the Bible. It wasn't in his Bible. The lunacy continues. Christ is God because they say Jesus is not God. Jesus is somebody by the art is the archangel Michael. He's some spirit creature or something. Christ is God, the creator of all things, according to Colossians 1, 15 through 17. Um, in the deity, obviously the deity of Christ is taught all throughout the scripture. In Matthew 1, 23, Christ is called Emmanuel. And that means God is with us. If Jesus Christ is Michael, the archangel, how can Matthew 25, 31 say when the son of man arrives in his glory and all the angels with him, since all the angels would certainly include Michael, the archangel, who they say is Christ. Is it possible that Jesus could return with himself? I know the, the idiocy continues. Isaiah 7, 14 gives us the prophecy of the virgin birth of Christ and states that his name would be Emmanuel, with, which means God is with us. Matthew 1, 23 tells us again that word means God is with us. John 10, 30, Jesus says, I and my father are one. Jesus is not a lesser God. He is one with the Father. So, with that song playing in the background, the theme should be shout. I want all of my true Christians and my true believers to start speaking up when you have these false religious doctrines and these false religious groups that constantly want to demean you and down you because you might be Baptist or you might be evangelical or you might be Catholic. Start speaking out when they come to your door and they knock. Entice them to a debate and ask them to prove their position. I will bet my bottom nickel that they cannot. Again, thank God for each and every one of you. And thank you so much for listening to my words and paying attention to my videos, going to my Google Plus page, my Facebook page. Thank you. And God bless you. Got to go. <laughs> Have a good one.